Hey guys, what's up? I just uh, had a brief phone call with Chuck Hurley. I haven't talked to him for a while. And uh, when I answered the phone, I immediately thought, uh, I called him Charlie. Hey Charlie, what's up? And the reason I call Charlie, Chuck, Charlie from time to time is because of this story. And I was telling it to Jen and then I just realized I got to tell this story on video because you guys are going to love it. So it's like 2007. I've just come on board with the Iowa Family Policy Center within the last year. <clears throat> My family's at the Iowa State Fair just doing our thing at the State Fair. And uh, Chuck Hurley contacts me on my cell phone knowing that I'm at the fair and he says hey if you're at the fair I'm meeting with John McCain today and wonder if you want to come along with me and so yeah I was interested in that obviously John McCain's running for president they're getting ready for the Iowa caucuses in early 2008 and John McCain is one of the front runners and uh, I don't know if I should say his name or not but I'm gonna who cares Chuck Larson Jr. I think was like the the chairman of his campaign or Chuck Larson Jr. was the guy who was setting this up for Chuck Hurley. So Chuck Larson Jr., Chuck Hurley, Chuck calls me and I we set the date, maybe it's two o'clock. <clears throat> it's over under this hospitality tent with a bunch of round tables, like a wedding reception, kind of over behind the pavilion at the Iowa State Fair. And uh, so Chuck we meet over there, we go sit down with John McCain. Um, it's just the three of us at this table, among all these tables, this huge tent is empty. And Chuck just puts on an absolute clinic about how to engage with a potential presidential candidate and see if he's a guy you can support. So it goes like this. Chuck basically sits down, McCain stands up, shakes his hand, <clears throat> introduces him to me. I sit down, I pretty much say nothing the whole meeting. And Chuck Hurley starts off by saying that he's read John McCain's book, which had just recently come out about something about hero or whatever, about his experience in Vietnam. And Chuck Hurley is like heaping praise on him, thanking him for his sacrifice, saying, you know, how much he respects him for um, what he did in Vietnam and what it must have been like and, you know, what an amazing guy he must be because of this and thank you thank you and just going over the top on how great you are and thank you so much and you can see john mccain's body language is kind of like you know chuck hurley at that time and still is a guy who these guys want the endorsement of so that's what this meeting's all about it's to get chuck hurley's endorsement the family policy center behind john mccain which is going to be huge for the conservative wing of the republican party and the caucuses blah 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 and uh, <clears throat> Chuck Larson Jr. obviously understands this too. That's why he's having Chuck Hurley meet with him. Anyway, most of you guys know this. So, uh, so everything's going good. McCain's confident. It's almost like McCain has this air about him that's kind of like, oh man, we got this guy eating out of our hand. This endorsement's going to be easier than I thought. And kind of like, you know, he's heard all these congratulations and all these thanks for your service all all the time he's used to it and he's just kind of basking in the glory of John McCain-ness and, uh, <laughs> and then Chuck just turns a really sharp corner which was awesome and he wanted to talk to him about uh, marriage and about abortion but he starts it off and says uh, now when I'm evaluating who might be our next commander-in-chief what I'm most interested in is where does he stand with the commander in chief? So could you tell me a little bit about your relationship with God? <laughs> oh gosh. I wish I had, I said to Jen, I wish we had a, a video of that meeting because you can literally see the change in countenance on John McCain's face. Kind of like, Oh crap, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. And, uh, so anyway, he kind of starts going around about, well, you know, I was grew up around the church quite a bit. I was an altar boy or an acolyte or whatever, you know. Um, I think he was in the Episcopal Church maybe. And uh, he's talking about that. Then he talks about how his faith, you know, he had a lot of questions and doubts when he was in Vietnam. You know, why would God allow this? But, you know, I can understand that. Um, 
but he's like, you know, but there was a guy there, you know, with us who, you know, every day or every week, you know, would lead us in the Lord's Prayer or we'd have like a, a kind of a pseudo church service, you know, through the walls or by code or I don't remember what he talked about. And that really sustained us when we were in Vietnam and, you know, and so then Chuck's asking him questions about how does your faith influence how you govern? He's like, well, you know, I just think religion is a really personal thing and I just never want to have it impact, you know, my public life, which I mean is the worst answer you can give Chuck Hurley. <laughs> and then they went on to talk about marriage and abortion. And I don't remember a lot of the details about that, but the meeting's over. It's like 30 minutes long. And uh, so we're done. We leave. And then Chuck Larson Jr. comes to, to walk us out of the tent and walk us kind of back toward the fair. And, um, and Chuck Larson Jr. is lobbying Chuck Hurley to, you know, so what did you think? And do you think you could support McCain? And, and Chuck Hurley's like, I mean, these guys know each other going back to the legislature. <clears throat> Chuck Hurley's like, Chuck, I mean, you know where I, you know where I stand on this stuff. He's like, I got, a, I got some serious questions about McCain and I'm certainly not ready to make an endorsement. Um, <clears throat> I need to get some of these questions or some of these issues resolved with him before before we go anywhere with that. Of course, this is the year that Huckabee was in, and uh, I think Chuck ended up with Huckabee. And this is also the year uh, where McCain evident, eventually did get the nomination. At the time, the Democrats thought Hillary was going to be the nominee, but of course Obama got it, and McCain failed miserably and has been, frankly, the bane of conservative Republicans uh, since then but but the whole Charlie thing so Chuck's telling him Chuck you know where I'm at on this I can't you know, I got questions and I, I can't give an endorsement and I and Chuck Larson jr. <laughs> we're walking along he's like well so Charlie he's like okay Charlie so he's talking to Chuck Hurley calls him Charlie okay Charlie I mean so what are you gonna do you just want to put Hillary Clinton in the White House right now He's trying to like step up the ante on how serious this is. The only person that can beat Hillary is John McCain. Well, McCain was a disaster and he didn't lose to Hillary, he lost to Obama. So anyway, that was one of my finest Chuck Hurley memories. Chuck, you need to share this with your kids because I don't know if I told it very well, but I think it's pretty accurate and it's a hilarious story. And it e just epitomizes Charles Hurley Esquire. Good stuff.